Here I am back with another edition of Easy On Cars. Today I'm going to upgrade my fuel pump and install my oil cooler. So I've just installed a DW65C where my fuel pump goes and I had a wall bro in there but this is going to give me a little bit more flow and uh, I've done the sizing on a few different websites and done the math and figured out this should be pretty much about right for my platform. I won't be able to push too much uh, more power than what I'm thinking I will right now but this should get me going uh, fairly well. Shout out to John Thomas for just donating this bad boy to me. Uh, I believe he had it in his WRX. Now the funny thing here is this uh, fuel pump, if you look it up, the DW65C, this fuel pump does not show that it's made for um, an 06 Impreza or 06 STI. It's 08 and up. But what I've just done is installed it and it fits perfectly in my, um, in my setup here. So the setup that I actually have, um, I've converted the Impreza to return style. So I have the fuel pump housing from a return style uh, system. I believe it's from an STI, like a 2004-2005 STI, so that's where I originally got this, and it had already an upgraded Walboro fuel pump in it. Um, but uh, it was not big enough for what I'm looking to do with the car, so I've upgraded to the pump that John gave me. So my chassis did not have a return. I actually had to run a return line, which I will show you some footage of right now. And so once I ran that fuel line, um, basically from the engine bay back to this, having this whole housing here, which I just got off eBay from a wrecker yard, um, allows me to run a return style fuel system and that just makes it a little bit easier on me. And so uh, now after that, I'm just gonna go drop it back in the car and then we'll enjoy skids afterwards, hopefully. With the fuel pump installed, I can move on to making my oil cooler lines. This is required before I can crank the car over because the oil sandwich adapter currently just has open holes on the side of it. These are braided steel lines with 10 AN fittings. I picked this size just because that was the size of the oil cooler and also the fittings that came out of the oil sandwich adapter were cheap. If you want to know more about how to make these lines, I would suggest heading to the internet, which is exactly what I did.
Next I'm making an oil cooler bracket out of aluminum which I will bolt directly to the bell housing. Once I figure out a solution for the hood, I'll come back and finish this proper. So just had a kind of funny experience. I was putting engine oil in the engine and just trying to get it ready to prime the system and everything. And uh, I started putting oil in the oil cooler hose, figuring that that would prime the oil filter and the sandwich adapter area where the turbo feeds are as well. And uh, I heard oil pouring all over the ground, so I assumed I had made some sort of uh, hose incorrectly. But let me show you what I saw when I got under the car. So here is the oil filter and there's the oil sandwich adapter and I don't know if you can see but oil is just pouring out of the side here and I it's not any farther up than right here so what that tells me is I didn't really pay very good attention and I don't really know where this sandwich adapter came from this oil filter is for the SVX but it does not appear to match this sandwich adapter. So I'm pretty sure that Foresters came with this, like 2004 era. They might have came with this uh, sandwich adapter from the factory, or maybe it was an add-on. If I compare the two oil filters, um, the outside diameter of this one is 3.15. And if you look at a Subaru Forester from 2004, the XT, which is the turbo model, that oil filter is 2.68 and uh, that's probably why I'm getting oil pouring all over the ground here. So if you're going to try to retain the SVX oil filter, that type of sandwich adapter is not for you. I sacrificed this oil filter and learned no matter how hard you tighten it, it still won't work. The documentation which I've posted in the description actually recommended a 1989 Chrysler Conquest oil filter which I have since installed and does not leak. This twin turbo build is really coming together. You might want to stay tuned for the next episode when Dan, Jordan, and I attempt to fire this thing up.